Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on selection. It says that there are six tourists. You can call them A to F. They are assigned four guides, J, K, L, M. Each tourist is assigned to exactly one guide with at least one tourist assigned to each guide. Okay, so that means uh, for every tourist, there will be only one guide and uh, every guide will have at least one tourist. So one guide can have multiple tourists because there are six tourists, right? But a tourist will have only one guide. Each tourist speaks exactly one of the languages spoken by his or her guide and speaks no other language. So they are allotted based on the languages that they speak. Okay. Now we are given some information uh, like Jatin speaks only Mandarin, Kuldeep speaks French and Spanish, Louis speaks Mandarin and French, Mohsin speaks Spanish and Arabic. Okay, and some rules are given about the tourist assignment of tourists that at least Alex and Brittany are to be assigned to Louis and at least Diana is assigned to Mohsin and if Carlos is assigned to Kuldeep then Eden speaks, uh, speaks Mandarin. Okay, so based on this we are given that J, K, L, M are the four guides. Okay, he speaks Mandarin, he speaks French and Spanish, he speaks Mandarin and French and he speaks Spanish and Arabic. Okay. Now we are given that at least Alex and Brittany are assigned to Louis. So this means A and B are assigned to Louis. Uh, so minimum, right? That means minimum. So we can have multiple more people also. Maybe we can have one more. And then we are also given that Diana is assigned to Mohsen. So Diana is assigned here. Now this means that uh, Alex and Brittany can speak Mandarin or French. Diana could speak Spanish or Arabic. Then another condition is if Carlos is assigned to Kuldeep, then Eden speaks Mandarin. So if Carlos is assigned here, then Eden speaks Mandarin. So Eden can come here or Eden can come in this place. Okay, so that is the thing that is given to us. Uh, but if, uh, if Carlos is not assigned to Kuldeep, so whenever there is a statement that starts with if, so the if part is not true, this condition does not exist. So we cannot say that whether Aiden speaks Mandarin or not. If Carlos is not assigned to Kuldeep, we can't say that what language Aiden speaks. So now let us answer the questions based on these conditions and the question given, which of the following must be true. Okay, so let us evaluate option by option. First option says Kuldeep is assigned fewer than two of the tourists, right? So it says that Kuldeep is uh, less than two. Yes, we can have one person here. We can have one, one less than one here, uh, less than two. So that is one person here. So there are one, two, three, four. We can assign two people here. So they just, uh, no, we have to prove it false. We have to find which of the following is must be true. Okay, so we have to prove it false. So, uh, if we assign two tourists here and one here, it is possible, isn't it? So, it is not necessarily true. Right? I can assign two people and it uh, it uh, negates this statement. Louis has assigned exactly two of the tourists. Okay, so we will try to uh, false, make it false. So, it says Louis is assigned exactly two. Now, let us say if there are three tourists left, I will assign one here, I will assign one here, I will assign one here. We can have three tourists assigned to Louis. So that is also not possible. Jatin is assigned exactly one of the tourists. Okay, so let us try to falsify it. Let us assign two people to Jatin. Okay, so that is also possible. So this we eliminated. Now, fourth statement says Mohsen is assigned fewer than three of the tourists. Okay, so in order to falsify it, it says less than three. So in order to prove it false, we should assign two more tourists here, right? So we assign one, one more tourist, two more tourists. Now, uh, if we see this three plus two, so we have one tourist left. So either we can assign here or we can assign here. We cannot assign tourists to both. And it says that uh, at least one tourist assigned to each guide. Okay, so this case, this case is not possible, right? So if we assign more than two tourists to Mosin, uh, we cannot assign all these tourists. So that is why Mohsen will be assigned less than three tourists. So that is a statement which is completely true. Next question. If Diana and Faye speak the same language as each other, what is the maximum number of tourists who could speak French? Okay. So let us again make that JKLM four people. 
and he speaks mandarin he speaks french and spanish he speaks uh, french and spanish mandarin and french and spanish and arabic okay so a and b here and d here now it says diana and faye speak the same language as each other what could be that language we do not know about faye but diana can speak spanish or arabic so it can be either spanish or it can be arabic so let us make another case that they speak arabic okay so if they speak spanish if they speak spanish that means uh, we can assign fe here or we can assign fe here so we will make further two cases so we can assign fe here speaking spanish and we can also assign fe here speaking spanish okay so we have to find the maximum number of tourists that who could speak french okay now uh, four people are already assigned we have to assign two more people so we will assign one more person here one more person here right not to worry about who are the two persons so we will assign one person and one person here we have to find the maximum people speaking french so if you have to maximize french k and l speak french okay so a can speak french b can speak french and at max third person this could speak french remember fe cannot speak french because it is given that diana and fe speak the same language if we consider this case then also we get three okay so let us consider that they speak arabic so is it possible to have uh, more than three people speaking french or we get less than three okay so if we say that uh, diana and fe speak arabic so this will be arabic so fe will be assigned here because only this person speaks arabic okay so then we will have two more people assigned here now if we have to maximize the number of people who could speak french so we can say a can speak french b can speak french and the third person this person could speak french whoever is assigned to k so at max three people could speak french all right so let's look at the next question if exactly two tourists are assigned to kuldeep which of the following could be true all right so let us assign two people to kuldeep so we can assign two people here we already know a and b are here okay and d is here so if we assign two people to kuldeep uh, so if we assign carlos let us say if we assign carlos to kuldeep so what will happen then uh, then eden speaks mandarin right and only this person speaks mandarin okay and uh, french and spanish mandarin arabic mandarin french and spanish arabic so if we assign carlos here then uh, this person speaks eden speaks mandarin so eden cannot be assigned here if we assign eden here because we have to assign two people here right so eden has to be assigned here okay and in that case f will automatically come here okay now if we do not assign carlos to kuldeep because uh, there are two people assigned so we cannot assign eden here we can only assign uh, fe here now if we do not assign carlos here if we assign carlos here then obviously two people will be assigned this way okay so now let us look at the, the, there are two possible conditions so the first says that eden speaks mandarin and carlo carlo speaks spanish eden mandarin carlo spanish that is possible eden mandarin carlo spanish okay we are saying which of the following could be true so that means it could be true yes that is that could be true okay so if you want to reject the remaining statement let's see fe speaks mandarin so if fe speaks we cannot have fe speaking mandarin because if we assign carlos we have to assign two people here if we assign carlos here fe cannot go to this person right so this is not possible second is fe speaks mandarin so again this is also not possible because fe cannot speak mandarin now let us see the next one eden speaks spanish and carlos speaks spanish so if carlos speaks spanish then carlos should be assigned to k okay and if carlos is assigned here then eden cannot speak spanish so eden has to speak mandarin so that is also false so this is the only possible uh, that is condition that is possible hence 
it could be true. Others are definitely false. Next question says, if Alex, Brittany, Eden and Faye all speak the same language, okay, then which of the following could be true? All right, so let's again make the table. So we will have to find what language can they speak. So we are given that A and B are assigned here and D is assigned here and uh, these are the languages. Now, if they speak, all speak the same language, what could be that same language? That could be Mandarin or French. So let us take they all speak Mandarin and let's take a condition where they all speak French. So if they all speak Mandarin, in that case, we have two more people, E and F. So either both of them can be assigned here or one of them, like, or we can have uh, E, F here. Or we can have one more possibility that we can have one of EF here and the second one of EF here. Okay, so we can have uh, four people like this or one, two, three, four people like this. So in either case, we will have C assigned to K. Okay, so that is uh, one thing. Now, if we say that both of them speak French, all four of them speak French. So A, B, D is here. So if all of them speak French, so we can have uh, one case is E and F are assigned here. In that case, Carlos will be assigned here. Or we can also have another case that one out of E and F is assigned to this person and another person we can have here because four people speaking same language. Okay, so in this case, Carlos is assigned here. So we have to tell which of the following could be true. So Carlos speaks Arabic. So in none of the cases we see Carlos can speak Arabic. So Carlos can speak either French, uh, he could speak uh, Spanish also, he could speak Mandarin also, but he cannot speak Arabic. Exactly two of the two tourists speak French. Okay, so uh, if we take four people can speak French, so that is possible. And uh, in that case, in this case, if we take all of them Mandarin, so we can have only one people speaking French, right? Either one, Carlos can speak French or can speak Spanish also, right? So we cannot have two people speaking French. So in this case, we have four people speaking French. In this case, we have zero or one person speaking French, okay? Because these are, although they are assigned to L, but they're not speaking French, they are speaking Mandarin. So this is not true. Carlos speaks Mandarin could be possible. So if we consider this case, in this case, Carlos can speak Mandarin. Okay. So this could be true. So in, in a question which asks could be true, uh, you must see that other statement should be false. Right. So uh, let's falsify the fourth one. Exactly two of the two tourists speak Arabic. So we see that only one person can speak Arabic. Right. Uh, only um, and Diana can speak Arabic. So this is also false. So whenever a statement says, a question asks, could be true, that means three of the options will be false and one of the options could be true or false. So we have to pick this uh, statement. Okay, if, if it says must be true, must be true means something could be false, something could be true, false, right? Something could be true, false and uh, one is true. So you have to pick this. So it is could be true. And this is must be true. That is the difference between these statements. Similarly, uh, it is could be false. Could be false means uh, three of them would be uh, true and one of them could be either true or false type. Okay. And must be false means uh, three of them could be true, false or true, but one of them is definitely false. So this is how we will solve this set and answer the questions. So if you like the solution to the video, so please do like this video.